Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Tiff Enchanted, your mystical psychic intuitive. 1111. I am your host. My name is Kimberly. I want to say welcome to all of you with much love and much light. Welcome to everyone. New subscribers, you are welcome. It is going to be uh, first come, first serve. I will be working in the background while I wait for those of you to come in and connect. So. Welcome, Kevin. How are you doing, Sunshine? Yes, I'm doing good. Thank you. All right, give me a moment here while I work in the background. Okay, I'm right here. Just bear with me for a moment, please. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the subscribers mode. And I'm here just working in the background. Good, I'm glad to hear that, Kevin. Okay, we are going to get started. Give me one quick moment. Give it a moment here for those to come in. And we are going to do a list today. We're going to be doing short mini uh, reads. And everyone's welcome. Let's go here. Uh, let's go right here, actually. Fabulous Friday, everyone. Welcome, uh, welcome, uh, Dam Damilola. Welcome, Kanishka. Welcome. Welcome, show empathy.
didn't end on that by accident. Okay. Sorry, I had an important call that just came through. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start out a list. Um, if you guys buffered for a quick moment there, we had a couple important calls that came in back to back, so... Okay. Alright, so if we're wanting to get on the list, let's go ahead and come in and comment by giving a, uh, a heart. Three messages from Spirit. We're going to go ahead and do ten regulars. And um, what we're going to do ten, the first ten that show up, whether regulars or new subscribers, everyone is welcome. I'm showing two people here on my and maybe I'm lagging. Showing three over here, two here. Let me go uh, refresh. Welcome, Daisha. How are you doing, Sunshine? Okay, um, let's go ahead and get the list started. Give me a quick moment. Okay, Daisha, um, Kevin, we got you up first. Let's go ahead and get you pinned. All right, so um, give me one quick second. We're still typing in here. Ah, okay. So um, all, every one of you, go ahead and come in and pass, uh, post your questions. If you're going to be here on the list, you're going to have to be here when I call your name. We're not going to be here very long today. Fridays are my half day, so um, it's been a really busy day so far. And I come into pulling three doubles starting tomorrow, so I go back into three doubles. So I have things to do before my schedule starts tomorrow. So I'll pull a double for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yes, Rashmi, we can get you on the list.
up over to um, Kelly's house. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dammy Lola, yes, post your question. Also, um, Daisha, come in and post your question. We welcome in earth, air, fire, water, ether, and great spirit. We welcome your presence. I also welcome in our way showers, ascended masters, archangels, angelic guides to work with me as I intercede on your behalf. I welcome in the voice of the bride, the voice of the groom. We welcome your presence. Earth, air, fire, water, ether, and great spirit, we do welcome your presence. As bright as the sun, the deck lights up the shadows. It shows me what is hidden to the depths and to the shallows. Hot light the sun, sparks the fire of truth. Show me all to wish, all to ask for so soothe. Like the moon's enchanting glow, you'll show me what I need to know. Whether that be bane or weather boon, you'll show me the truth, just like the moon. The deck of the flame that is ever growing, ever knowing, ever glowing. Fire come and fire stay. Illuminate and clear the way. Powers of the earth come into this tarot. Mountains, hills, and fertile fields, the beaches and the barrows. Like solid ground, like tough as stone, these cards stand firm as truth is shown. Show me what I long to know and help us to grow the seeds that we sow. Powers of the air, the deck will dare to show the truth and lay it bare. Just like the wind so swiftly blows the path ahead, the deck will show. Water to fill these cards with force, to change the fates, to cut the course. As water flows and water feeds, so will these cards also reveal thy needs. These are my wishes, so mode it be. All right, we are ready to get started. Show empathy, do you want on the list? Uh, let me know if you want on the list or not, please comment. Because I know some people come in just to watch. They don't want readings. I have a lot of people that just like to sit back and watch me and listen to me when I talk. So I don't know if you're wanting a reading or not. Messages are for Kevin. What do we have here? Messages from Spirit for Cancer. All right, I'll get you on the list here as soon as I'm done with Kevin's reading. Uh, Daisha, I'll be having you. Oh, you already posted your question. Rashmi, I will be having you post your question here in just a moment when I get done with Kevin. Yes, I will add you. Show empathy. Rashmi, hold your question until I call your name. I will be calling you shortly to post your question. Probably once I get done with, D, uh, with DFS, with Dami Lola. Messages are for cancer, Grace Bear. What are the messages coming through for, for cancer? Messages are for cancer, Grace Bear, for Kevin. What is the messages coming through? Messages are for Kevin. Cancer. What are the messages coming through here for Kevin for cancer? Messages are for Kevin and for cancer.
interface there? What is the overall energy here? The overall energy. The overall energy in this heaven for cancer. What is the overall energy in this heaven for cancer? One last overall energy in heaven for cancer. I uh, see here, what Spirit is strongly saying here is that we're coming into a time that patience is going to be needed here. Um, also doing things within a moderation. I, we've got this right here next to the Seven of Pentacles here, and this is telling me that we are moving into success here from things that we're working at. You know, we're not to give up. This is a card of saying, don't give up. <clears throat> This is a card that says that, okay, you know, you have reached a milestone in your life uh, from, you know, any past efforts, okay, when it comes to, um, you know, you know the things that you're seed in here, the things that you're, uh, you're you, you know, pentacles having to do with your finances, uh, financial abundance, okay, coming into, you know, work, it could have to do with your work. Um, it, you know, it's, it's got everything to do with, with what it is that you're, you're, um, you know, uh, working hard at here. And I see this as work related, okay? Uh, that could be like if your business operated, you're working on a business, putting a lot into it, feeling like you can't see your work paying off. <clears throat> this is a card that's here to remind us, <clears throat> to tell us that it's, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> clear my throat. This is the time that says that, okay, it's not a time to give up. We're to keep on doing what we're doing. Our hard work is going to pay off. I also see some nostalgia energy here. Okay. Why I say that is because I've been seeing this a lot with the collectives. Even in my one-on-one -on -one readings, on my personal one-on-one -on -one sessions, um, just overall in general, I've been seeing many people in this energy here of nostalgia. This is an energy of taking back into child, going back into wandering down memory lane. That could be about a lover. That could be, you know, your childhood. That could be, you know, taking a wander down uh, memory lane when it comes to someone that you've cared about, you've not seen in a while. It could be a, a past, past uh, loved one that's passed away. It could be past relationship, or this could be very well connected to your childhood. All right, childhood memories. Um with this queen of cups here this is being very intuitive okay visionary kind of energy very creative very calm very much in control with their emotions i see this energy as <clears throat> an energy of, of of taking some control when it comes to our nourishment all right because right here she speaks to me a lot about nourishment all right, uh, having, having to take, you know, making sure we're taking good care of ourselves, uh, drinking plenty enough water, especially during this time with all of these uh, solar flares taking place, solar eclipse coming, because <clears throat> it does affect the consciousness. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing we're coming into some wish fulfillment here, too, with the Nine of Cups. Whatever it is that you're striving at, you're not to give up. <coughs> yes, this is the Mercury retrograde energy for sure. I've been seeing this here for like, like last Mercury retrograde. I was seeing that energy a month before Mercury came into retrograde. It was just that that final retrograde of 2023 was very potent. This one is not as potent, but it's it's potent 
I've been seeing the energies like mm, about 10 days prior to this uh, Mercury retrograde, maybe even two weeks. But yeah, Mercury retrograde challenge is to take a wander back into the past. Also, maybe wanting us to uh, clean up things from the past burners. Um, you know, uh, taking that time to clean, you know, I mean, seems to me like this will give us the time to, to retreat, time to rest. Um, <laughs> you know, you know, the Mercury retrograde energy is not always a fun energy. Um, you know, we got to definitely check our flights. If we're taking a flight, we got to check our tickets, check your receipts, all that kind of stuff because of all the technical issues. Um, so while we're speaking of that, yes, make sure you guys are checking your receipts and, you know, making sure that everything's coming out right. It's a great time to update your devices, too, during this time because Mercury is what rules technology. So you will see a lot of updates coming. Maybe, you know, I'll see in your advice telling you it's time to update. Your best time to update is during a Mercury retrograde, to be honest with you. So if I got any updates, if I want to update, I'll probably do my updates. Not all apps, so I always like to update. Facebook being one of them. Messenger being another one of them. You know, check to see what they're offering in the updates, too, though. Security, uh, your security should be updated. Your phone should be operating on the updated version that it needs to be operating on to fix any type of bug issues. That will be a great, great way to fix bug issues, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, we're seeing nourishment during this time, wish fulfillment, happiness, you know, uh, coming into generosity, uh, you got this kind of energy, um, I'm seeing something here with some very strong attachments too emotionally here, um, a balance and taking place with this energy, first card, last card connects together, they both speak of balance. Um, this is a professional kind of person it could be that of a water sign but we're seeing possibly a love proposal you know someone that's want to express how they feel uh, someone that wants to propose you know their feelings emotions towards you um, this could be very much representing that of a, um, proposal. Water sign, it does not necessarily have to be a water sign. We're made of all four elements. You're made of water. I'm made of water. We are all 75% water. The brain is, I believe, 85%. You get what I'm saying though, right? Water, lots of water energy coming here with the moon. Balancing is what I'm hearing. Balance. Doing things in moderation. Have patience. I'm strongly hearing have patience from your efforts, from the hard work that you're doing. It's not a time to give up. We do have a wander down into memory lane. I say right here with this energy here of the Queen of Cups, I say it's time to make sure you're 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 drinking plenty of water and I have to I have to I in fact I'm getting ready to do the same thing. I'm getting ready to do a flush with uh, lemon water. Uh, I like to drink a lot of lemon water and I've not been drinking enough water over the last week so I feel like I, I, I I'm needing to hydrate myself more with some more water here so yeah um, with this uh, I, I feel like we're setting uh, uh, foundations here okay looking at the seven of pentacles over here with the emperor card sitting here with the nine of cups right here i'm seeing this energy right here well i should say right here your two cards here bottom cards here the spread i do here it tells me a lot because i do i read the cards in different ways okay i've created my own spread here on how to read the energies and i get pretty good accurate energies this way to where you know when i want to pull more than three cards um, this is a really good, fast, quick, mini uh, tap-in kind of spread. Like, so is Kelty Cross. Kelty Crosses are really fast to get through as well. And you can get a lot of insight doing a Kelty Cross. 
but um you know connecting these together here connecting these not you know connecting these to put my story together here um i'm seeing here uh laying some foundations here building energy also your hard work being protected here okay it's like i also feel like your finances are protected you know um you know, being protected here with the Archangel Michael energy. I'm seeing that the hard work will pay off and in the end result here we're coming into success and happiness and abundance here with this Nine of Cups. Bringing you into some wish fulfillment. So you should start seeing yourself transition past the Seven of Pentacles energy and start seeing things start moving more quickly for you. Um, this is a milestone here, okay? This is this is reaching that milestone. Your work is about ready to uh, pay off is what I'm saying. So again, we're seeing abundance here. You're going to need to be patient. Seeing a lot of water energy here too overall. Looking at all of the watery energy here, there's a lot of watery energy here, which is telling me that, you know, we, we definitely could be uh, uh, going through some motions and some waves, you know, uh, feeling some, uh, you know, I'm seeing, I, I'm seeing some emotional energy arise up here too as well. And um, that is with this uh, Queen of Cups, the King of Cups with this Moon card. All right, so... Um, you know, I feel like maybe we could be, be be riding some waves here, okay? Just keep on going with the wave of, you know, just keep on riding out those waves. All right? Things are going to start getting more smoother here. I'm seeing like you're right here at your doorstep, you know? It's like here. This is not something that's too far into the uh, future. It's like here. This is right here at the doorstep right here. The Seven of Pentacles right here. So this is telling me here that, okay, uh, right here we move up into the Eight of Pentacles. Seven seems like we're not in movement. It seems like we're not doing anything. It seems like we can't see our hard work paying off. But our hard work is paying off. This is where sometimes we feel like just throwing in that towel kind of energy. But it's like Spirit says, no, don't. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, that that's just sometimes, I'm not saying that, you you know, you could be feeling that way, but I'm saying that's the, the energy comes with that. Sometimes we just feel like, okay, I, I've been working so hard at this and I just cannot see my hard work paying off. And um, this is to say, okay, don't give up, keep on doing what you're doing. It's going to pay off. And another thing I'm strongly hearing the Spirit say is, you got this. You are being protected here. I'm seeing love coming in here. Oh, wow. Imagine that. I had to drink water. See, so that's a sign spirit saying that, yep, you need to keep nourishing yourself because life is in the DNA. And it's very important that we stay nourished. Um... You know, no sickness or disease can sit in an alkaline body, a body that's at a pH alkalinity. You know, so as long as we're at a pH level and we're alkaline, we defeat death. You know, um, our DNA is made to defeat death. You know, death is in the blood. You know, it's how the Messiah defeated death. Jesus uh, it means that life is in your DNA. Life is in the blood, John 1.14. And if Jesus defeated death through his blood, there you go. you got to really think out the box with the energy. Your body's made 75% water, so what do we need? We need water. Water's going to help us to, to, to see clearly. Water's going to also give us a clear way of thinking. You know, because it comes to cleanse and purify. But yeah, it's pretty neat that you said that your mouth got dry and you needed to take a drink of uh, water. <clears throat> seen a lot of water energy surrounding the energy so yeah emotions could be a bit up and down and 
keep telling yourself that you got this, you know? And keep on doing what you're doing. And uh, actually, not just us taking a wander back in the past, the uh, Spirit just spoke to me. The Spirit just said that this, this Six of Cups, with the King of Cups sitting there, could be bringing a past lover back into the picture. I'm hearing a lover coming back into the picture here. Yeah, no matter which way I'm seeing it, I'm seeing is 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 um not only are we taking a wander back into the past in memory lane, that could be that of a past past relationship. Does not all this when we take a wander down memory lane, it does not always have to do with childhood memories or childhood trauma. Some people don't have childhood trauma, so what do I have to clear childhood trauma when I didn't come from a childhood with trauma? My grandkids are not raised around trauma. So what kind of trauma are they going to have to clear when they get 30 years old from their childhood? You know, not all kids come from trauma. I was not raised around. I was raised in a stable, strong foundation. And I raised my children in a strong, stable foundation. And they're not abused, so they don't deal with abuse. You know? don't believe in abuse. I'm against abuse. I don't believe in it. Right? So, not always does it mean that we're taking a wander down into child memories um, from childhood, or does it always mean when we see this kind of energy pop up that a person's playing out child trauma? You know, not everybody uh, grew up in trauma. And I'm walking proof of that myself. So, um, next we have coming up, it's going to be, let me see, I didn't write the list out here, but I put it right here. I did I had to add show empathy to the list. Okay, we got to add show empathy. Uh, Kevin, um, I hope that was able to help you, Sunshine. Uh, DF asks, uh, love reading, please. <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> Dammy Lola. Uh, love reading, please. Dammy Lola, my zodiac is cancer. Uh, let's see here. Do I have anyone else I need to have them post their question? We've got Daisha's question already in here. Rashmi posted their question. Show empathy. I'll come to you in a moment to post your question, okay? Thank you for checking in with me, Daisha. Okay. Got to excuse me. I'm a little slow motion. Then. It's been a really busy couple of days. I've got family here from out of state, too. And we've been doing a whole lot of um, work in the background. On top of working doubles. On this season, now that we're into the spring, coming into summer, I'm more so on that more early to bed, early to rise uh, schedule. So my schedule flip-flops from the uh, uh, fall winter, especially winter quarter. Winter quarter, I do a lot of third shifts. I come in a lot during the night season. I will still come in for my night crowd during the night season because I like, you know, I, I, I built my channel coming in at night. And... Um, I love tapping into the energy at night. I love working underneath the moonlight. I like working at the rising sun as well. 
But today would be a time I just popped in at some free time for a moment here. Taking a moment and then I gotta go, you know, I'm not quite done once I get done here. I got some things to do. Keep seeing rebirth. Messages are for Dami Lola, great spirit for cancer. <clears throat> Love reading. I've only got so many decks right here to work with. All my other decks are in the other room. Follow your gut when it comes to love. A new relationship blossoms. Um, <clears throat> we've been seeing this come up in your, your cards uh, uh, quite a bit over the last, I don't know, I must say two months now. that's in that damn lion too which is you know it just means strength the sun arising and up the love is arising and caduceus this is like the two strand dna this is to me like like the same as seeing the two of cups and, and the caduceus can speak to me in so many ways just knowing the the wisdom that comes with the caduceus how it's connected to our holy grail our dna you've got the holy grail that comes right next to it too which i find quite neat this is a two-strand DNA. This has got to do with the health. You know, you see this is the health and wellness, but this is connected to the Merkaba. Um, it's like we will receive news. It seems to me like, um, you know, this cup is about rejuvenation. Your cup is full. This is the chalice. It is the Holy Grail. It is the marriage cup. Um, quite neat but you know the first card here says pay attention to intuitions and um we're seeing a new relationship blossoming you know you know coming up here giving birth to a new 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 relationship here we've got the uh spider which is uh um this is an energy that says okay it's okay to be a bit meticulous and patient all right, so what we're hearing here is your overall energy here coming down towards the end here. The overall energies are saying that patience. Love is patient. And it's always neat when we see that come up in a love reading, you know, because it is so true. We got to have patience when it comes to love, even when we're in a relationship or when we're not, we're waiting for love. It takes patience no matter what. Love, no matter what, is patient. But, um... We're seeing fire here again, you know, and we're seeing fire. And every time I pull up for you, we're always pulling fire. So whatever it is that you're manifesting here, it is that of fire. And I don't feel air. Well, let's see here. You are cancer. You know, it could be, uh, you know, it could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius we've been seeing a lot of Leo energy pop up but it does not mean that's a Leo 
But this is also ruled by Leo energy here. I mean, the sun is the ruler over Leo. And this is, again, speaks to me of, of, of love rising and up. Being, being uh, watched by the unseen forces. So we are manifesting love here. You are manifesting a connection here. You have to pay attention to your gut. Pay attention to your intuitions. Just be aware of uh, seducing spirits. Those are spirits of seduction and lust. Be aware it, it's not hard to spot them out because they, they, they're right on the spotlight. They will seduce you. Um, and their mind is on lust. They come after the flesh of the, the fruits of the, of the flesh. Might compliment you, you got a nice butt, or they like your boobs, or, you know. Right. They're looking at the, at, at the fruits of the, of, of, of the flesh. Them are spirits that are seducing spirits of seduction and lust. That's not what you want. Them things don't ever work out. They start out wrong and they end in all kinds of terrible ways. When you are attracting love, universe will test your faith. Just keep that in mind. You always have to pay attention to your gut, not what you're being told. If something sounds too good to be true, it generally is not. So if something sounds too good to be true, like, my God, where have you been my whole life? Why did I not meet you yesteryears? Um, oh, my God, you've everything I've been looking for. But something's telling you, damn, something just don't sound right. Pay attention to your stomach. Thank you, Dammy Lola. Um, what is the, uh, give me some confirmations here for Dammy Lola. For those of you that are sharing love to the channel that I see into my community tabs, sharing love here when we're in the chat, sharing love to my uh, video updates. We've not gotten an update out there in a bit. I don't put updates out there daily. Um, but yeah, you know, when I'm seeing you in my community tabs, it tells me that you very much vibrate with me. I share more love with you right here. Next time I come in and do readings and I see you uh, communicating with me in the community tabs, then I share a love here by you getting out there and sharing love to the channel by giving thumbs up to my content, uh, commenting on my comment, sharing love in the community tabs, uh, community page. For cancer. Love reading. Confirmation, sir. What do we see here, Grace? Bro, look at that. Ten of Cups. With the Ace of Cups. Fuck. Can't make this shit up. Can't make this up. You just can't make this up. I'm trying to tell you, you can't. You know? I'm like, show me what you need to show me, Spirit. And all of a sudden, the Spirit shows me the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So, let's not watch. What else do you have to show me here, Great Spirit? What else do you have for me here for Dammy Lola? Page of Wands. Oh, damn. Like I said, you can't make this stuff up. Lover's cards right here. With the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. With the Nine of Cups. Shit. With the Will of Fortune. Damn. Wow. You can't make this shit up. Damn. I'm trying to tell you. Can't wait till I can probably come in front of the camera where you guys can all actually put a vision to my face. But I don't come in front of the camera a lot because of the way we're set up right here. And my lighting sucks. Oh, don't get me wrong. I shouldn't say that. I have good lighting, though. Camera-wise, you see it's going to start getting dark. But it's not dark in here yet. Two of, uh, ten of cups there with the ace of cups. Again, that holy chalice. This is given birth to happiness. Someone that maybe is family orientated. 
I keep keep seeing someone that's uh, that 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 whatever it is we're giving birth to a long long term situation here. Someone that is is committed. Someone that is um that loves strong. You know, uh, luck is right here on your side when it comes to love. Page of Wands. Give birth. Bring out your inner child. Your flirtatious self, your energetic self, your 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 inner child, playful, energetic, no doubt, no worries. I got this. I am love. I am manifesting love. Paint that perfect picture. Use your imagination right now, okay? Right now. All right, let's see here. That's fire. You are sitting in front of this fireplace right here as the child of fire. A child of fire is very in tune with their visions, imagination. All right? So you're like saying, paint that picture. Draw that perfect partner that you, and, and see yourself that you're with that person right now, that you are already together. Use your imagination because your thoughts are manifesting. You are giving birth to this. You are manifesting a connection here. And I see a stable connection here. Every time I've tapped in, I've seen someone that's stable, someone that's family oriented. We've got lover's card here. We have luck is on our side here with love connections. I feel that we're also giving birth to good relationships here. Maybe, uh, you know, this is a good partnership. All right, nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Wish is coming true when it comes to love. Ace of pentacles here. This is open doors are right here. It's like love is here. Love is near. Love is everywhere. Love is all the way around you. Embrace love within self. And see that you're already with your, your, your future partner. Again, this is fire. This is Leo energy here again. This is the energy that is connected. Well, you know, I see the page of wands as my Mars energy. Mars is what rules the brains. That fiery hot head, that fiery passion that's on them. You know what I mean? Brains, visions, creative, um... You know, that's that inner child of the Mars energy there. But you can also see Leo energy there as well. As Leo is what's connected to the sun. And you see the yellow in this. In their clothes. That yellow's got symbolic symbols of the sun. As well as, um. You know, it's right there with the pyramids. With the three pyramids. You know, he's looking at a portal here. That portal's the heart chakra. That heart gateway there, you see that is a lion's gateway. Right here again, I'm seeing generosity, career, secure, financially responsible. Also, I feel that whatever's taking place there, there are open doors coming to what, uh, ask. I know you didn't ask about that. But it showed up, so I'm going to share it for you. Okay, um, that is uh, uh, open doors to abundance when it comes to finances here. We've been lifting everyone up into prayers too, and I've been hearing breakthrough messages come to me. I've had two come to me that's been looking for jobs for the longest and said, finally, I got a break. And I'm trying to say this is not your only break. The doors are now open. Good luck is here manifesting. Your luck is about to turn around for you. Involving your finances here with the uh, Will of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. This is open doors. This is the uh, bad luck has been turned around. Good luck is now being served. All right, and this is a card that represents generosity with good, good career. Um, operated, business operated, kind of minded person. Someone that's very good in the business field. Okay, Tammy Lola. <clears throat> I 
I was meaning to send you over a text message, but, but I, it's like at times when I'm not near the phone, um, it's like, it's just like, okay, let me hurry up and respond really fast. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'll respond, sometimes I'll look at my phone right when I'm getting ready to like lay down and take a nap or something like that, or I'm just waking up and I'm still groggy. Oh, wow. I mixed all these cards up. I didn't want reversals in here. Empress came out at me three times. Birth and energies. You're definitely in a very fertile time. It's like I feel like uh, things are going to start start looking up more brighter for you. You're coming into more brighter days here, okay? And I should have said that when I seen the sun card here too, the last card here. Coming into brighter days. Where is that sun card at? Right here. Days are getting brighter and indeed look around you. You can see the days are getting brighter. It's now 6 o'clock and it's still daylight. Our days are brightening up. We're coming into more better days on the horizon here. That overall energy for you was the sun card right here. Joy, happiness, bliss. Be in, your, uh, be in the energy of dance. Joy, you got to be vibrating high. Universe will bring you your same vibrational match. So as long as we're vibrating on high vibrations, that's what we're manifesting. Love, joy, dance, music. That's the best time to manifest when it comes to love. Look at that, love. Thank you, Jennifer. I can take you right now. Go ahead and post your question. Next, I will be coming up to, um, I believe it's Daisha. You'll be coming in right after donation, Daisha. You are welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Dami Lola. You are very welcome, Sunshine. I think we got five slots left, actually. Yeah, five slots. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, everybody. It does help out the algorithm for the channel. I greatly do appreciate that. Daisha, you're going to be coming up right after Jennifer Sunshine. Rashmi, you're going to be coming up right afterwards. Are you still with us? Show Empathy, you're coming up right after. Are you still with us? Check in, everybody. Daisha, Rashmi, Show Empathy, are you still with me? It is a little slow. You guys will start seeing me bouncing. You'll start seeing more of me once I uh, come into an alignment of the new uh, schedule change. <clears throat> As I come into alignment of my new hours. You guys will start seeing more of me. <clears throat> You won't see me back here until approximately Tuesday or Wednesday. It just depends on what my schedule is. I'll know that on Monday because I booked my calendar on Mondays. <clears throat> uh, last Tuesday and Wednesday, I was in book sessions. <clears throat> I did get out, though, on I believe it was Wednesday. <clears throat> Leo is wanting to call you, and I want to know what he feels. Gemini, new one also in the band, <clears throat> calls me sometimes. He has a partner, but what does he think in Aquarius? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Um.
we need to know about Leo's villains. We do it uh, right after I finish up with your reading, and I keep on feeling Leo energy, and then all of a sudden, now we're doing a Leo uh, tap in. I find that a bit, you know, I see that a lot too. Energy like that. wants to move towards you it seems to me like he wants <clears throat> I've always felt the Leo having a passion towards you but always having a blockage there with the Sagittarius look at that union card all good positive energy here all good positive energy here all good positive energy I'm seeing right here that, you know, this is the inference energy, rebirth and type of energy. So, you know, I feel like, you know, whatever, you know, I feel like your, your, your guys' connection has like, you guys are, are, are vibrating on a little bit more of a higher level than what you had been for a long time. All right. I feel like this Leo does have a lot of passion towards you. But like I said, right here, Aries. This person really wants to move towards this connection here. You know, he... I feel like he doesn't just... Yeah, you know, we are a bit guarded here when it comes to expressing my heart here. But you see Leo and the lion wanting to come forward. That lion wanting to come forward there. Um... You know, I'm seeing, I'm seeing bliss. I'm seeing like he, you know, what does he want to, want to try to get together? Yeah, it seems to me, yeah, yeah, talk soon right here. Wanting to come in with communications. And that's not now, it's in contemplation here. Yeah, he wants to, he wants to come in. Yeah. He's 
coming in with like a new heart here. You see a bit of a change in this person? Like he's just seeming to, it seems to me like there's a lot of joy surrounding his energy. Um, it, it, it seems to me like, like, you know, it seems like he, he enjoys being around you, he enjoys talking to you. He enjoys your company, and I've always felt that with Leo. And I've always felt like, what the fuck is going on here with this connection? And I always felt that it was the best friend, the Sagittarius. Not so much of the uh, partner of the Sagittarius. But, um, yeah. You gotta pay attention to your gut here. It's like Spirit says you already know what's going on here. He not only wants to communicate here, but I feel like I feel like he wants to get into a bit of a heart to heart kind of conversation here, head to head. And I feel that because of this energy here. And I feel that because I see the wands. Yeah, right here, Knight of Wands coming forward right here. With the Two of Cups, this is the last card right here. Okay, and this tells me head to head, heart to heart conversation. Like, we do want to come together. I feel like he... You guys, like, real close by each other. Yeah, okay, that's what I needed to ask right there. All right, I needed to ask that. Um, and you already answered my question right there, actually. I'm looking down at the chat right now. Uh, shame we can't see each other. Um, okay. So you see each other on the on, on video cam? On video cam? Because this is going to be a face-to-face -face type of conversation is what I'm seeing here. Doesn't have to be in person. This person's got some fire here, okay? And I'm seeing joy surrounding around the energy, okay? I'm not seeing this as a, um, I'm not seeing the energy is uh, like I could say, bad intentions, any kind of ill intentions, any kind of uh, bad thoughts. I'm seeing a lot of joy around the energy, okay? I don't see any negative energy here. I don't see any negative energy. No negative energy at all. I'm seeing, uh, you know. Seeing renewal. World card here. Cosmic egg, seeing a lot with that rebirthing of the cosmic egg taking place. Just put a message in the community tab on the community page on that too. So, yeah, I don't see any negative energies here with Leo. I see Leo is, you know, I see there's like a renewing. Like, your guys is, you know, like, what your relationship is just going on a higher heightened, you know, going higher. I always feel if Leo was not, like, involved with the Sagittarius, but it's like a, a, a codependency kind of energy there. And I don't see the energy crumbling down either. I don't see a crumbling there. Not right now. Yeah, video call, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I go with the flow with the energy. He's got to, could be definitely coming with a wand, you know, fires, passion, you know. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of passionate energy here, okay? A lot of passionate energy there.
Gemini. Alright, how is Gemini thinking of this connection here, Grace Spirit? Gemini's thoughts when it comes to this connection here. Gemini is the one that was uh, like a bit more communicative and then just, you know, shied away, I'm thinking here, but the new one that's in the band, I'm thinking about a year now. Cheers. This has got to do with, you know, his talent, which would to me speak of work. <clears throat> He's in a band. That's his talent. Um, you know, always celebrate, enjoy. I can see this energy with him. All right. I feel like he enjoys your company. He enjoys being around, shares, celebration, joy. But I feel a lot of this is like social. I feel it's like social. I feel like Gemini himself. Gemini's got things that Gemini's dealing with here too. Okay. Um, energy to me speaks of like being very alternative okay um i 
I don't see real strong stability here. I see someone here that is dealing with some losses, missed opportunities, uh, focusing too much on material stuff. Uh, um, you know, what I feel here is hardship. I feel hardship. Rest and recuperation. You know, I also feel like maybe he's a bit financially insecure, financially unstable. I think he likes me, but he has a partner and kids laugh a lot, of course. Yes, I can see that family here. I can see that. Uh, securely with a connection here. What is it like a? I can see that here with the uh, Queen of Pentacles family. And I say, yeah. Gemini right there, yeah, he's got a lot going on over there. I feel like he's got, he, right here, I feel like he, this connection here, this is not based, you know what I mean? It's like we're together because we got kids, we're together because um, uh, codependency is what I'm seeing there, codependency, codependency. This person likes to have their fun. Sagittarius moved a bit too fast, so Sagittarius is probably throwing the obstacles down. Seven represents it's an energy of, of, you know, it's the liar, cheater kind of card. I'd imagine, yeah, seeing that there, you know, maybe maybe he's, he's you know, playing that field there now. What's this next energy with Sagittarius connection here? What is the next energy here with Sagittarius connection here? What do you see taking place? Yeah, like I said, when he moved into that new romance, he speaks to me of a new romance. But, um, well, I'm going to have to get off the line here shortly. My brother is drinking and I don't want him to bust anything. up the list we got here. We're not adding anyone else to the list right now. What's this next message for Sagittarius' current connection? Another energy 
that. These cars just want to pop out too many at once. Sagittarius is current connection to her base breath. Sagittarius is current connection to her base breath. dealing with some distractions here with this nine of wands here this is the card of taking flight travel movement um it seems to me like it like yeah this is we don't have to have the tower card here but it's like i'm moving away from some energy here this speaks of movement this speaks of travel all these cards speak of movement and travel card here yeah hidden agendas hidden motives there I'm seeing distraction involving his current situation right here this connection right here I don't see a crumbling. I do see some conflict here. I do see somebody wanting to pick up some pieces and move forward. I don't know if that would be him or her. Um, everything is not being fully illuminated here with this energy here. So I would say that, you know, he's not... There's some things that he... I should say like being a bit secretive about I see both of these energies right here side by side is secrets are not fully revealed into the light here so his full agendas here are not fully revealed here I don't feel like um <clears throat> I if you want my opinion I feel like it's him that would be wanting to hang, hang on I feel like it's her that's wanting to pull apart I feel like it's her that's wanting to, to pull apart Yeah, I think he's wanting to still hang on, but she's the one that's wanting to go. I don't think he's been so faithful to this connection. This is a liar, cheater kind of energy here. Someone that's got hidden agendas right here with these two energies here. So, you know, I could, I could see if this crumbles, which I could foresee that happening, in the future <clears throat> by but I feel it's all because of her it's gonna be when she breaks free I feel like she's the one that 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 will end up taking flight here when it comes to this connection I don't feel he's gonna be the one that will take flight I don't think it's him that's wanting to pick up pieces I think it is her like okay she's realizing that this person's not who I thought he was he's not been fully honest here all right, this is this is a card. This is a card that just it brings conflict. You know, it is it is a liar cheater card of the tarot. But you know, I mean, yeah. Right, yeah. I just I think he's got a lot of things that he's just he, he, like I I feel like someone's inside of a shell here, like he is inside of a shell. Yeah, we should tap back into that again uh, here at, a, at another time just to see if that energy shifts or changes there. You know, do another tap tap in here. 
next week, week or so. Take another look in on the energies just to see what we can see. Yeah, I'm feeling like he's definitely dealing with some battles here. Okay, um, list is closed. We'll be back on Tuesday for those of you that could not get in on the list today. Um, the free list is now closed. Alright, so Aquarius. What do we see here for Aquarius' energy here, Grace Spirit? Messages are for Aries for Jennifer. Um, what do we see here as to Aquarius' energies? Messages are for Jennifer. What do we see here for Aquarius' energies here, Grace Spirit? Aquarius' energies. What do we see here for Aquarius' energies, Grace Spirit? What are the messages coming through here for Aries for Jennifer? What do we need to know about Aquarius here? This is like saying we need to just, just choose uh, wisely when it comes to love here. And what I'm strongly hearing here when that speaks to me so boldly, we need to be ch uh, choosing wisely. Like he is just not the one here, okay? Um, <clears throat> when, I, when I hear that, when it, it's like the spirit is strongly saying choose wise when it comes to love. That's what I'm hearing. Choose wise when it comes to love. And uh, it's like the spirit just says that. Choose wise when it comes to love. And that's to keep on here. Choose wise. You have options. This is not your only option, Spirit says. Having a new perception when it comes to the Aquarius. I feel that you have developed a whole new perception. As 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 that that mask like being unpeeled, it's like I'm seeing what it is that I don't want, basically. Okay? You're not everything that I thought that you could have or would have, or, or, 
or that you could have been or that I thought that you were. Um, <clears throat> you're definitely having a new perception when it comes to the Aquarius, okay? I feel like you've had a whole new perception when it comes to the Aquarius. And I feel like that is you knowing that you've got other options here. Um, being able to uh, see beyond the veil here. The veil being lifted up for you. You seeing beyond that veil here. Okay. Again, I feel like this is very much in tune with a seeing. You know, a knowing. It's here with the three of wands. This is, um, you know, I, I, I feel this is your energy here. Being in tune with your intuitions, like it was not hard for you to, it, it, it didn't take long for you to figure, to, you're getting quicker and quicker and quicker and sharper and sharper when it comes to the stereotype of the Aquarius. <clears throat> But those are not your only options, though. Trust me. But, yeah, you do have a lot of options coming to you that are, yes, in relationships, too. Um, but those are not your only options. They may be getting out and doing something different getting out of the comfort zone where you can get out and meet people. You know, instead of doing the same thing over and over. Give me one more card here for this two of cups here, Great Spirit. Yeah, there's a looking on the inside here <clears throat> when it comes to love. Yeah, you being right here, it's like, you know, I feel like you know what you want. You know what you're looking for. You don't have to look outside of yourself here with the hermit. All you have to do is just go inside here. And that's what this is, is, is a look in here, a searching. This is um, not only three areas here, but, you know, my, my heart is here not only on love life, but I'm also here in, in, in it's like um, looking ahead into the future here, right? You're looking ahead here at, at not only just uh, love life here, but this has got to do with health and wealth as well. 
You know, like I'm concerned about my health, I'm concerned about my wealth, and I'm concerned of my love life. I have a longing and I have a seeing afar of this. So it's like looking into the future here. I feel that's you. And as you're looking into the future here with the uh, Scorpio, I mean, not Scorpio, but Aquarius, you're seeing that, okay, just don't see this. I see that there's a lot too, though. I feel like, 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 whatever's going on with this uh, connection here with Aquarius, there's an ending that's coming forth with the Ten of Cups and this Two of Cups right here. I don't feel like what's going on here is at a complete ending yet. I still feel that there's some things going on here. Past relationship here. Or, you know, the one that, uh, Aquarius, do I have this person correct, correct, right? Aquarius is the one that's going through, um, a separation, correct? Yes. Yes. I just, for some odd reason, I just feel like there's still a very strong bond there. I still feel there's a strong bond there with the Aquarius and uh, their prior past relationship right here speaks to me. Past relationship. There's an ending that's coming to an ending here when it comes to a relationship here. And this has got to do with, well... You know, but it, it's still not completely there yet. You know what I'm saying? There is a definitely looking on the inside for this energy, not having to look outside of self when it comes to the connection. Like it is like like your heart already knows. You can see this energy. You're having perception to see these things here. This is being able to see here. Another of looking within. You know what it is. Yeah, it's like I'm moving forward. Moving on into a new horizon, into new things. Just, I don't feel the Aquarius here for you. I, I just, you know, I mean, friendship, yeah. But I just, to be honest with you, I think Aquarius has got too much going on right now. And I think Aquarius just wants to have fun when Aquarius wants to have fun. You know, and that's a once in a while because I feel like Aquarius has got his mind occupied on many other things. Like, like, this person's got a lot going on is what I'm feeling. You know, it's, it's not just work or maybe even like travels, but a lot going on with a past relationship that's still current. Um, and this person's got a lot going on. This person don't get much free time, and when the person wants free time, they want it for fun and play. They want it to relieve the stress out. They, they work themselves. They work themselves up into a stress, right? And then it's like, okay, now it's time for me to just unwind. You know? Yeah, right there, Aquarius. Thank you, Danny Lola. Yeah, I just don't feel this with the uh, Aquarius. I don't think it's anything bad on Aquarius. I don't think Aquarius is a bad person in any way. I just think that Aquarius has a lot that's going on. And I think that when Aquarius wants to have some time for fun is when you would hear from Aquarius, you know, and it's, and, and then all of a sudden there's the fun and now I don't hear from you for a while. And what that is, is that's just, that, that is, that's what an emotional roller coaster is because it, 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 it's going to feel like you're on a ride of a roller coaster there. So I don't think it's anything intentional. I don't think there's any like kind of bad intention kind of energy there on Aquarius's behalf per se. I just think that Aquarius has a lot going on. 
And I don't think Aquarius is fully telling you everything that's going on. You know what I mean? All right, Daisha, you are up, Sunshine. Do you want to, um, let me see where I got your question at. Daisha. Your question is still up here. But you understand what I'm saying, though, Jen? All right. You understand though what I'm saying? Though I don't think Aquarius is a bad person. You know, I, I think he would make a great friend if we just keep it as friends and save ourselves of the emotional roller coaster by not letting the emotions get tangled in. Because this man's not ready for anything right quite yet. Not that he might not be in the future, but right now, no, I don't see it for the Aquarius right now. So don't set yourself up to get in hurt. You know what I mean? Daisha, Aquarius energy check in. Give me one second and I will be right back. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. We actually asked him over and over if she can come over. Yeah, go ahead and bring her. She knows she's on spring break. Yeah, she's, I told her That's when she's been born. She is addicted to me. She's crying. And she keeps on begging mom to bring her back to Nana's house. <laughs> Junior, he's a Nana's boy, a daddy's boy, a sissy's boy, a mommy's boy. An auntie's boy. Overall, out of all of us, he's a mama's boy. So, Leah's on her way back. go shopping with me. All right. Um, Aquarius energy check in. Aquarius energy check in. Aquarius energy check in. Everyone, you'll be able to probably connect with me probably on, um, I'm hoping Tuesday. If I get the time to come in in the meantime, in between, I will try that. But we are going to be uh, working on some projects over the weekend on top of pulling the doubles. But I'm going to also try to be working on some projects at the same time. Messages are for Aquarius. Love you, bro. Tony. Antonio, out like a light. Uh, keep 
keep my brother lifted up into prayers. We gotta get this fur candle going again. light the prayer candle. I'm going to light it at 9 o'clock tonight. So prayers will go up at 9 tonight. I need to bring in some uh... Grace Fair, what are the messages coming through here for Aquarius? Energy check-in is for Aquarius. What do we see here, Grace Fair? Energy check-in is for Aquarius. What other messages coming through here for Aquarius, Great Spirit? Show empathy. Are you with us? Show empathy. Do you want to come in and post me your question if you're still with us? Uh, Rashmi, are you with me? Come repost your question, please. Rashmi, you are coming up next. Show empathy. If you're with me, can you come post your question, please? Aquarius energy check-in. Aquarius energy check-in is for Daisha. Rush me, show empathy. Go ahead and post your questions. Every once in a while, I might take two, three cards, but only when the spirit really pulls me to. Usually, I, I like one pop out. Messages are for Daisha. Energy check in for Aquarius, great spirit. I'm not feeling that energy. Not feeling the energy there. Let me focus for a minute here. Let's clear the energy for a quick moment here. I'm going to pull some cards here first. I like the taste of this one. but I do like the taste of this. Energies declaring free. Declaring free. Declaring free. Let all energies be clear and free. Where's my sage? go. Let's cleanse out these energies a bit.
grab that. Leah's emotions are heightened. Don't surprise me, she's born on spring equinox and all these energies taking place on the planet. She's born right on spring equinox and we got a lot of energies hitting the planet since spring equinox. So I'd say she could be being impacted by a lot of these, uh, the, the lunar eclipse of the full moon. Still, it's a two-week energy. Overall general message is for Aquarius, Great Spirit. Energy tap in for Aquarius. Energy tap in is for Aquarius. Three shuffles. Energy tap in is for Aquarius. Energy tap in is for Aquarius, Great Spirit. Energy tap in is for Aquarius. What is the message here for Aquarius? Give me a message here for Aquarius. Looked at that two times. Seen that twice. All right, Daisha, let me see what we have here for you, hon. For Daisha, we're taking that card. I don't know what it is. Air. Feel that energy there. It's like a, uh, a confirmation to what I'm seeing here. Set everything up in the background now for the kids to have the tea parties. Which means we're tearing down in the background for the children. My brother is over here on the couch sleeping, but well, you can't see that far, but I was gonna give you a little peek around. I haven't fully taken the, the device out of the out of where it's at. And it's uh you know, a tripod. I feel like taking it out of there. Um Oh, we do like to click this right there so we can see, at least see the rose there. <laughs> yeah, the cup. My actual tripod tripod broke. We're basically using my car piece. This is for Aquarius. What do I see here? Let me try to pop another hand right down here. Water. Air. Oh, snap. Smoke it for what it is. They show there's no beating around it. The, the Holy Spirit works for me in ways that I, I I become like best friends with the Holy Spirit, okay? When the Holy Spirit's working with me, I can tell. Well, the Holy Spirit's always working through me, you know, but um, what I mean by this is I'm sitting here saying that uh, emotions have been heightened. I didn't say that by coincidence. That did not just come out of me by coincidence. You have had heightened emotions. And you see how the spirit will speak through me? Boy, my my emotions have been heightened too. I understand Aaliyah, right? Yeah. You've been dealing with some heightened emotions. The emotions are, are um, you know, like, like reaching their peak. Um... And again here, you know, I'm sitting there speaking of prayers going up at nine. When I look at this dagger here, I'm looking at a sword. I'm looking at the sword of the spirit is how I see this, okay? Um, it's like you have to really be in tune with your intuition with these cards here. Because the little book that came with these is, is, is just a watered down version of what the true in-depth meaning of these are um it's just a watered down version you know it's very just a tiny little small book it's not very big you know it's just small but um i'm hearing that answered prayers are being heard prayers are being heard 
I'm also seeing here seeking a union with not only that of, of union with spirit, but also of being in connection with mind, mind and spirit. So I would say that as the higher self, lower self. I could see this being in a trinity cycle. I can see this in an energy of being full, circle of oneness. I see the up. I see the down here when I look at the symbolic symbols of these cards. Not so much reading what the energies are, but reading what's in the picture itself. We've got that arrow up. We've got this one coming down. This represents an ascension. This represents descension. All right, when you see them side by side like this. All right, so this is telling me I'm seeing things full circle. All right, and I'm seeing things at a level of a trinity here. Trinity here. As above, so below. Okay? So. What does that mean? You know, what is the message here? It's a message, like I said, to recap for you, of being in a balance of the higher self and the lower self, the higher and lower aspects. And this is that of, of, of um, you know, this right here, when I'm seeing a trinity here, a trinity here, okay? What I'm seeing here, just to look into the, uh, the, the uh, encryptions here, is to me again this speaks of mind spirit there's the oneness there's the completeness what i'm seeing here emotions are at their peak heightened intuitions dreams could be very heightened during this time for you and I'm seeing this at a trinity level as well, okay? But I'm seeing this as the underworld type of energy, under the water, watery energies. It's like a, a, a going down under, retrieving some uh, cosmic downloads, and then retrieving them, all right? So being in tune with your dreams, down, being down under, down under, you know, in your dream state, watery dream state. I see that these energies are very heightened. So I should say I'm seeing heightened emotions. I'm seeing, seeing heightened dreams, which that could be a visions or dreams. They are both the same, daydreams, night dreams. I'm seeing heightened visions here, okay? Um, which is good. And I'm also seeing this with the intellectual mind, you know? So I'm seeing a lot with mind, spirit, emotions. All right, so we're seeing heightened visions, heightened dreams, heightened emotions are at their peak. And um, I'm also seeing this at, as the time that maybe you would want to maybe be drinking a lot of water to at this time. Be it, uh, you know, uh, you know, because you could be having the symptoms of feeling tiredness, feeling body aches per se. Because I'm seeing this as some ascension codes that are going higher here. All right. This is a completeness of feeling complete oneness. This is long story made short here. We feel complete. We feel whole. We feel one with self, universe, uh, mind, spirit. We feel one. All right. And again, right here, heightened the emotions. Dreams are very vivid. Um, yeah, it's a good thing. It's just all natural. Um, it's just all natural uh, things that you're going to go through in life. This won't be your first rodeo or your last rodeo. You've been through these kind of things uh, as you're ascending and elevating higher. We're always evolving. You know, and a good way I could put that is you're not the same person you were yesterday. You are forever changing, Daisha. See, and that's what I'm saying right here. I see this energy as transformation. Undergoing some transformations. Coming into some... Uh, Heightened dreams, heightened visions, seeing through the illusion, coming through the matrix of all of the false shit that they've, they've programmed people with. It's like you're seeing beyond the veil here. You're realizing that life has so much more purpose. And you're realizing that everything I've been told my entire life has not all been truth. 
This is where we have a longin, and we are like a sponge, and we can only we we we, we can't stop absorbing information, right? That's what I see the transformation undergoing here. Make sure you're taking some time to ground your energy, Sardesha. Make sure we're taking some time to ground our energies. That are, are you know, that we're not, you know, because undergoing a balance in here, you're going to always be challenged with this energy. You're going to always be challenged. And that's got a lot to do with challenging your negative way of thinking, your positive way of thinking, mind over spirit, higher self, lower self. This is always going to be something that's always going to challenge you. It's going to always challenge us. Because we have to have that logical way of thinking. And this is what gives us our logical way of thinking here. Seeing a huge transformation undergoing mind, spirit, ascending higher. You can put a little bit more in there if you need to. Uh, he drinks a lot of milk. Fill it up full. But yeah, this speaks to me of just being able to ground our energies a bit. With the Chimera energies. Let's see what the overall energy here is for Daisha. Alright, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to take these two cards. Uh, unicorn here. Uh, speaks of uh, good fortune, good friendship, magical, mystical. I feel like, yes, we could be definitely coming into some mystical codes there of, 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 of mystery, mysteries. You know, seeing beyond the veil. Seeing beyond the veil. Being in tune with truth. Seeing a, seeing a truth that is, uh, a truth that is within you that so much the world can't share. I see a lot of that with that, and that, that don't surprise me for why the sword would be here at the first card there. That does represent truth cutting through. Third eye open in here. Unicorn's horn there represents the third eye. Being illuminated here with the third eye, not to mention this is also connected to astral travel, dream state. Dreams, visions. Very much heightened right now. Them energies are very much heightened. Might have started to be heightened with the uh, full moon that we had that just came up. The energies are going to be heightened for the next couple of weeks, maybe a few weeks. And just can keep on heightening. And then we've got a card that passion and romance awaits you. So, passion and romance. What is up, child? Hi, you're back. Mm, you're gonna give me a hug. Aww. You wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi. No, they can hear your voice. Hi. Say hi, I'm Aaliyah. Say I'm uh, they can't hear you. Say I'm Aaliyah. You missed your nana? You wanted to come back here? So that means you're staying here with me tonight? Tomorrow night? Did you pack your bag? Yeah. You did? Did you bring stuff for your tea party? Yeah. You did? Well, then you can help me decorate for your tea party after I get some rest. Because your, your friend's not coming over till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, tomorrow. You and Madge can have a tea party. We're going to go to the store in a little bit. You can take a ride with Nana to the store. Okay. You want some rice? She had to come in and say hi, everybody. I'm Aaliyah. Um, reposted my question.
Okay, we do see romance and passion awaiting you. You know, I don't know if you're into, um, you know, if, if you have a passionate relationship already that you're connected to. But we do see that uh, passion and romance is in your energy. You know, and this came up from out of nowhere. That could be you being a very passionate, romantic person yourself. You're a very passionate person. You're a very romantic kind of person. I see myself like that. I love my candlelight. I like the calm. I'm very passionate. Um, I can see this as you being a very passionate woman and very, uh, ro you know, very, very romantic. It, you know, you, you know, you like, ro you know, romance. You, you into like romantic kind of things, romantic music. You know, um, like at night, I like to listen to uh, instrumental uh, jazz. Um, you know, I like listening to, uh, you know, B.B. King, uh, Luther Vandross. Um, you know, I like listening to all that good music. Calm, subtle, I just, you know, I just love jazz in general. I love all kinds of music, though. It just depends on the mood I'm in. If I'm cleaning, I, you know, I, I want to listen to music that makes you want to clean. Wash me. Yeah. Yep. I see that as uh, you being a very passionate, romantic kind of person yourself. All right. We have up next, it is going to be uh, Rashmi. Did um, show empathy post their question? Show empathy, do you want to post me your question, please? Oh, wait. What am I doing here? Alright, show empathy. You can come in and post your question. I close out as soon as I'm done here. So please make sure your uh, question's posted so you don't miss your reading, okay? Pops back out at as it's meant to be. It's an energy that's there. It's the Nine of Cups, which speaks to me of an energy of you got this. We're going to pop that back into the deck and see if that pops out again. If the spirit wants it to come out, if it's a strong message, it will come back out. Next message here. What is our, excuse me, what is the message here for the present energy here? How oh, uh, the ones towards Libra. Show empathy, are you here? Show empathy, are you still with us? Yeah, there's still fill-ins here. Two of Cups is the very present energy here. That speaks to me that someone someone would like to have had to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. There's still a connection here. There's still a bond here. We still have fill-ins here. That is a yes. Two of Cups. Two 
So nine of cups would be an energy to say you got this. Page of wands. Yeah, that's again, energetic energy speaks of still having passion here. Last energy here. One overall energy here, please. Yeah, balance and seeing a lot with the duality too there. First cards of two, last cards of two, and this is the page of wands in the center. This speaks to me of yes, we still have a strong bond. Yes, there's still fill-ins here. So that should answer the question, does does he still have fill-ins? Yes. Um, this person still has passion here. All right. Seems to me like there's some uh, uh, balancing that needs to be done between the two here. This is 3D, 5D. I see this is masculine, feminine in this connection. This is um, representing two Libras, a masculine and a feminine. This would be the two Libras right here in the reading. Two. Two. Balance. Duality. There's a seven. I feel it's on timeout. Rest. Leave the Libra. That is a 10. Yeah, it speaks to me of, 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 of I'm seeing that as, as maybe like an ended but not completely over. Um, this person's not completely over this situation. Whatever it may be, this person still has fill-ins. There's, there's still a bond here. You can fill it yourself because you still have that bond yourself. You still have fill-ins for this connection and the fill-ins that you're having are definitely worth exploring right you're not having them fill-ins by coincidence that's because you're filling the other person's energy there's still fill-ins involved between the two of you between the two seems to me maybe there was not enough balance between the connection here between you and the the other person we gotta have balance as well as whenever we're in a connection we must enjoy spending time together but we also must enjoy our time apart we can't be around each other all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Like we start kind of gluing that we're never getting apart or break. And then all of a sudden I'm getting a break. Oh, my God. It, is he cheating on me? Is she cheating on me? Oh, my God. I've not heard from him in a couple of days. And blah, blah, all these insecurities come in and blah, blah, blah. And all this other stuff. That's kind of stuff that ruins good things. Trust is always the important thing in patience. So what I'm seeing here is there's been a, there was an imbalance here. But doorstep, two of cups, there's still love here at the doorstep for you. This person still cares for you. You guys are in telepathic communications. You're feeling the energy because that person can feel your energy as well. This person still has love here, king of cups. Yeah, so there's still fill-ins there. Look at that. I, split, I, I mixed the cards all in. And I split the cards and right there. That's a card that represents strong bonds, relationships, lovers. So when you ask a question, is there fill-ins? You take it for what it is. You see the two cups or you see the lovers. That says, yeah, I still have an attachment here. Look at that, Ace of Cups. Another confirmation that, yeah, there's still fill-ins involved here with this connection. Okay, Rashmi, show empathy. You are up. Did you post your question? Let me see. Did show empathy post their question? <clears throat> I see show empathy come back. I'm here. Gave some love. Show empathy. Can you hear me? All right. We close out shortly. Welcome, Ivo. How are you doing, sunshine? You are very welcome, Rashmi.
Okay, so um, show empathy is not with us. If you're with me and can hear me speaking right now, can you come in and give me a heart so I can see who's all here? I don't think show empathy is here with us anymore. <laughs> no more boring uh, dad and spending time with the kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not as, uh, not as, not as babies. <clears throat> I don't think show empathy is here with us. 7-23, that is Aaliyah's dad's birthday, July 23rd. Speaking of dad, 7-23. July 23rd, her daddy's a Leo. Okay, I take it that's going to be it then, Dammy Lola. We're going to go ahead and close out there. Thank you so much, Dammy Lola. I greatly, uh, <laughs> I greatly appreciate your help. We'll close out there, and I will see you guys if I can pop in for an hour or two. Um, over the next few days before Tuesday hits, I will try to. I can't promise, though. I think we're going to take this time to go ahead and uh, we're getting ready to bring in a full-size. Uh, we're getting ready to tear I gotta uh, get rid of the uh, love seat I have in here. I have to make some room to do that, so it's gonna take a little bit of work to get that done, to get that out of here. And um, I'm getting ready to put together a uh, daybed couch, I guess you could say. Um, it's got the twin size mattress that pulls out from the bottom and it's the full size. That way when I have family over and we have all of the kids here and so on, I have more room for people to sleep. My daughter Nettie's coming in from Florida. So my, my eventual plan is to take my dining room. My space is small and cozy. And be able to downsize my table into bar tables. As a bar table does not take up much space, it gives you more space in the room, which will enable me to bring in a... Um, a mobile uh, chest bed and it folds back up into the chest dresser chest and then it unfolds into a bed and I can convert my dining room into forward slash a dining room guest room so we're looking at doing that so that way I'll have room here when family come in from out of state and uh, family needs somewhere to go until we're all done getting all of the renovating done on the other half. So, um, yeah, this one's been here. We just don't have the bunny rabbits up there anymore. It's not quite done, but this is the fill of the look that we will be with for spring, summer, and it might stay up all, all year long. But I don't know. It's a lot of work tearing down and rebuilding and doing all the decorating. So pink is the color, that's my favorite color. We're with the pinks um, pretty much um, all the way up until fall time. But I don't think this fall I'm going to um, bring in the darker colors. I like having the light coming into the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like if you were in a mobile, if you were in a motor home, and your couches turn into a bed your kitchen table turns into a bed you know what i'm saying i'm sort of looking at that route with my place being small why have a love seat in here that no one can sleep on i mean it's even too small for a leader to sleep on it what it's okay if i get company for two people to sit on i really can't put much much use to that get rid of it why not have me a piece that we can sit on and we can lounge on comfortable? So that's what we got. I don't know if I can pull it up though. Uh, let's 
see if I can pull up. the one that we're getting for inside of here. Wow, it's cheaper here. Oh, that's without delivery. It's got a light on the side of it, and then it's got the full-size bed right here. Oops. It's got the uh, full size on the top, and then the twin size folds out and then pulls back in. Be nice like I deal with my brother Tony being here right now. We're a little crammed in here when the kids are here. So I figure that will make it for more sleeping space. And then the other thing I was looking for for the dining area, this is going to be delivered. Well, they say it takes usually two to three days to ship, but it's scheduled by the 10th. Um, right here. And then this is the mobile chest bed I looked at. I did the measurements on it and I could make it work and I measured the bar I want to put in there. So if I want to expand the picture, it just expands it over to here. There you go. This actually folds all into a bed. And then when you pack it away, well, let me see. There it is. It ends up folding up into a, it looks like a dresser. You see, and it's like 60, it's uh, five foot long. But it folds right out into, it comes right out into a bed, and there you go, there's the bed. So I thought that'd be pretty cool. Dining room, once it's folded up like this, once it's folded up like that, put a bar stool over here, put a bar stool over there, and turn it into another spot to eat. So we'll just turn it into a bar by putting a bar stool here, bar stool there, and then I'm going to be uh, wanting to put in a mini bar. I'm going to put in a mini bar, and we're going to eat at a mini bar. So I thought that would be pretty awesome. That way I could say, okay, that will sleep two people comfortably, full-size bed. I think that one was full-size I measured for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, looking at opening up some more space to where, um, thank you, uh, Dami Lola. Looking at to where I have more space for when my family come here. It's like when my children come here and they, it, it's like, man, I have no room. Where's everyone going to sleep? Well, this remedy, I will be able to sleep one, two, three, four, five, six. My future plan would be to sleep seven people in here comfortably in my living room. And then, okay, if we can sleep two more over there on the other bed, that's sleeping another two more people right there. Eventually, I'll be able to sleep ten people comfortable just in the space that we're at right here. 
as we're still renovating the other portion of the home. I'll have one more room opened up here soon. We'll have another room open. So then I'll be able to sleep at least 12 people. And then I have a plan for Leah's bed because it's high up to put a twin twindler underneath it. One that just rolls out and rolls back under because her bed would be big enough for that. <clears throat> That way, when she's got a guest over, we have more than, like, I would be able to sleep four kids in her bedroom. Then I would be able to put four in her room. I will make space for my children here in a minute and all my grandkids. <laughs> so, yeah. My daughter lives in Florida. She'll be here next month. So, I'll have room for them to sleep when they come in from Florida. Yeah, so do I. I just don't know how, how, how well they are made, but I guess you could reconstruct them to yourself. <clears throat> but okay, we're going to go ahead and close out there. It's been my honor to be here and connect with everybody. We will be back on Tuesday or Wednesday. I will know my schedules as I come into Monday. I love you all so dearly, and it's been my honor to connect with you guys. As always, you guys are my inspiration for why I'm here, and I want to say thank you to all of you that are always here supporting the channel, um, always here helping out. Thank you, Dami Lola. Thank you, Ivo. I greatly do appreciate you. Don't know who else is here with us. Um, show empathy one more time before I close out. Are you with us? You're the last one on my list if you are still here. Thank you, Dami Lola. Aw, thank you, Ivo. Okay, I think that's going to be a wrap. You guys have a very great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Namaste.